It's good to be here. <laughs> oh, this is good to be here. Anyway, I'm gonna take the time to introduce the band real quick. I know I've been in Kimbrough's more time. I've been in Kimbrough's a lot, and every time it's been different. But I promise you, these guys are gonna stick around. At least I hope. Hopefully. Over here on the lead guitar from New Orleans, Louisiana. I was looking for gas cans on my way home from Texas one night. This garlic looking dude comes up and says, Hey boy, I'll give you a I'll give you a gallon of gas and give me a soul. And I said, nah, I'm not really feeling that deal. But I got this guitar. Well I got a band, you wanna join? Sound fair. And that's how I got the voodoo practitioner over there, Mr. Rose Diablo. And over here, in the flamingo pink suit playing bass. <laughs> his mama's from the bar, uh, his, his daddy's from the bar, his mama's from, uh, mama's from right here in Tennessee. He's the best of both worlds, y'all, Mr. Pancho De La Rancho. Muchas gracias. Me gusta mucho tocar en América. And back here on the drums, we've got, I just found this out. He is in the Rockabilly Hall of Fame in Jackson, Tennessee. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, from San Antonio, Texas, Mr. Rock and Roy Parker. Woo! I can I can attest that too. We looked it up, and over here on the rhythm guitar, he got me out of a bad funk. And turns out he and I are both from Maryland. So, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dusty Johnson. And out of process of elimination, the gig is Low Small Monsters. So that means one of these idiots has to be CJ. That means. <laughs> yeah, I've been there, done that. Hey, let's play that Bob Wills song that we were working on. Any of y'all ever been to Tulsa, Oklahoma? Oh, yeah. Well, this song's for anybody who's ever been to Tulsa. I haven't been yet, but I still want to go. Little, uh, take me back to Tulsa. Take it away, boys. Ah
Shelly, you want to sing a song? Si quieres que canto, canto. Si, si, senor. Canto, canto. <laughs> sure. You want to do that one? Well, no. Okay. We're going to do a little Robert O'Keen song. Y'all like Robert O'Keen? We do. Remember the ones playing, so if you said no, I don't know what to tell you, brother. Jerry was a waitress at the only joint in town. She had a reputation as a girl that got around. LA. She left her midnight, branding back to sex. Press more hanging from her lips and a pain between her legs. She goes down to the water, beach with all her friends. Her road goes on forever, and a party never.
pass of paper and a tall six pack there. And let's say that Sonny, he's going to the chair. She pulls out a woman's hand and her hand will say his name. Some for Lent. Me, I'm giving up energy drinks. I've been hooked on Red Bull, so it's like, you know what? Today is the day. I'm finally gonna get back to coffee. <laughs> well, I mean, in my defense, cocaine's expensive. <laughs> Wait, there's that. <laughs> and illegal, but. And illegal, but since when did you come to a musician for legal advice, you know? <laughs> anyway, we've got some stickers if y'all want to come up here and steal one. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? Sure, figure we're in the... Figure we got the accordion out, do a little Zydeco. Y'all like Zydeco out there? Yeah. I hope so. Here's a little number, uh, little number I stole from Rock and Deuce. It's called Don't Mess With My Tutu. <laughs> One, two, three, four, one. <laughs>
listen, anybody got duct tape in the house? <laughs> you go guitar. Yeah, I'm going to switch over to guitar real quick. Uh, if you want to take the next song, Mr. Uh, Mr. Johnson, I will catch up with you.
You know, I was playing in a country band at a Dundalk for a little while, and the guy was just so drunk, drunk, and he drunk, 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 and his guitar was out of tune, and I told him, hey, man, why don't you invest in a tuner? And he said, tuna, we're playing a gig, you ain't around that much of a fish. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think I just had a flashback to that guy. Now I finally get what he's talking about. There we go. That's all right. I'll play guitar. I'm better at it anyway. Evidence that I do too. This would be the part where I'd say, hey, leave a dollar in the tip jar because we ain't got no set list. I'm trying to afford it, but I'm seeing one over here and one over here and one over here. It's like I woke up in Bizarro Land. <laughs> yes. Y'all like Skinner? Yeah. Skinner! All right. I'll give three free stickers if anybody can tell me who wrote this next song.
get, not like dog, give yourselves a hand. Give yourselves a hand one time. Y'all are some beautiful people. And if you like what you hear, one, I would highly subscribe, I would highly uh, suggest seeing an ear doctor, and two, like us on uh, Facebook at www.facebook.com slash Monsters. That's where we are. <laughs> That's where you'll find us. Who, uh, who wrote it? Huh? Who wrote it? Oh, you didn't know? That was J.J. Kale. He's the same guy that wrote After Midnight. I play that one next, but... I, I don't remember what was on the set list, and the guys bet me $10 that I couldn't follow it, and I ain't got $10, so I'm trying to be good. <laughs> what do you want to do next? I got 10 bucks. <laughs> oh, calling a bluff, calling a bluff. You want to Yeah, how about some Gripple Dead? Y'all like some Gripple Dead? I know there's some deadheads around here. So we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do one they took from um, took one they took from uh, Bobby Blue Band, I believe. Bobby Blue. I think so. I don't remember. Well, uh, 
some of y'all might not, some of y'all might be a little sensitive to the inner tubes, I get it. I totally get it, y'all. Yeah, figure a, figure a little something out of Louisiana, like. Yeah, but unfortunately the microphone fell off my accordion. <laughs>
Goku. Okay, now when we actually practiced it, it didn't just throw out another set list because it was Mardi Gras. Sitting here on death row behind a ton of steel. They say before I die, I gotta have my last meal.
Oh, we're cooking now, honey. All right, what we got? Yeah. Huh? Oh, boy. Oh, we're going to have some fun now. Oh, you're right now. Ten four, man. Be easy. Thank you. All right. Here's one. I dedicate this next medley to uh, Rockabilly Hall of Famer, Mr. Roy Parker. This guy's probably been on more hits than Hank Aaron, but he's out here playing with us. Seventy years old, playing with us. Throw some tip in the bucket for a seventy-year-old man. Dog, go. <laughs>
You don't hear that in a rock and metal band, do you? We break more than a few rules. That might, that might get us kicked out of the rock and metal hall of fame. Hopefully, we'll keep going here. Hey, you know BTE? To who now? BTE. BTE. Better than that, bro. <laughs> New Orleans. That is New Orleans. New Orleans. so much. Muchas gracias, y'all. Somos los Swamp Monsters.
say we still got some stickers up here if you decide you want to come out and steal one. <laughs> but don't forget to like us on Facebook. We are Los Swan Monsters. Hope you enjoy. And if you got friends that want to hear us, this video will be up on YouTube within a couple of days, I guarantee. I'm pretty good about that. Thank y'all. <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> Dude, that was awesome, guys. That's the best we sound. No, just this one. Someone be used to it. You go. You go. This has gotten hung up. That's sort of hot.